Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So uh, yesterday's call was the right one, looking for a rejection higher up, and we did get it. And that was pretty much here in the region of 39.23. Uh, we'll have a look at that now. Uh, first, just look at the macro view, looking at the grouping for downside early in the week, which said it's silly going short down here. And uh, you'd want to be short higher up, and that's kind of still my chain of thought. We do have a lot of um, noise coming out today from the Fed. So Feds have all the interest rate projections for the rest of the year, plus uh, into the first quarter of next year. And then they also have the interest rate um, announcement as well. And everybody seems to feel that it is going to be 0.75. If it is worse than that, I think you're going to see a rapid fall. Um, if it is in that area, I'm not so sure that we're going to, you know, be confident or you know be happy about it so you'll probably still get some kind of a form this uh head and shoulders or cup and handle whichever way you want to look at it in my books the neckline has been tested we need to drop below the lows of this week and then that should trigger the momentum uh, momentum to the downside so with that in the back of your mind let's just get through the, the time frames quickly and uh, if you look at the three hour uh, we had a, not a grouping, but I had a crossover of the three hour quite high up. And uh, it was when we were doing the video yesterday. And there was quite a bit. I mean, as I said to you yesterday, you needed to pay close attention to what was going on in that zone. And uh, you can see we got the crossover there. If you look at the hour, you can see lovely grouping of the oscillators while we were doing the video yesterday, formed a very tight range. Um, and then at the European Open, which is this bar here, we accelerated up to find one of the levels, and you can see there's the swing lows there. It could have also gone up a little bit higher to those, and as I said to you yesterday, that was your entry, and your stop was above this area here. So you, know, you had a 400, 500 point stop loss, but you had potential for an 800 point gain. So that being said, what do we do today? And uh, same is true. I think you need to leave leave that structure in on the upside, leave that level in the upside because that is critical if we break that. And then you need to find an area where we have support. Um, and you can see we're flirting with this level here. We sort of above and below it. And you can see where I picked it up from these swing lows. Well, from that swing low there, I can pick it up from this swing low, that swing low. And I think really there which indicates level, that is the closest one, which is 38.718 or 38.712. We drop down to the 15 minutes, because that's what you should be looking for. And um, you can see I've moved that bottom level, but pretty much you can see we tried to get there, up inside bar, grouping of the oscillators on the one hour, one hour resistance ahead of us, a perfect opportunity. And uh, you could have even taken a more risky trade here by having a 100-point stop loss uh, for, again, a 700-point gain. So at the moment, I suspect we are going to drift sideways until the data comes out. Uh, there's nothing we can control about that. And uh, this is the one area you need to pay attention to. This is the uh, line that properly... We take out the high of uh, yesterday, that changes the view completely. But for now, you're looking for opportunities to short. So this is an area to pay attention to, 38.72. And uh, you could possibly even have something in this area as well. That would be around 38.82. Now, my advice to you today is stick to... Stick to the European session, uh, get down to a much lower time frame, probably around a five minute time frame. And within that five minute time frame, you're probably going to change direction three or four times. So you're still gonna have your levels in, but you're gonna work on your levels on, on the five minute chart. And uh, you can see at the moment we are ranging, bit of a uh, inverse head and shoulders here. So don't be too surprised to see this bounce to the upside. And um, those are your two areas of potential resistance, which would be 
38.72 and up there at 38.82. So up there, look for you know price action on the five minutes and come back down and etc. etc. So until the Fed come out this afternoon or this evening for for us in Europe and South Africa, you are not going to get much opportunities to trade this. So uh, sometimes it's just wiser just to take the day off and wait for this evening, have a look what's going on. Sometimes there's an opportunity to trade it, um, but you know as we saw with the CPI print last week, often there's not opportunity to to actually get into it because. You know, you, you normally miss it. Uh, you don't have all the algorithms and the computers that are there to to trade it in the flash, you know, as soon as that data's out. So um, you know, you've got to go physically look for the data, look at the data, see what uh, the data is, then come back to your charts, have a look at where the entry point is. If you just jump in, often it's so volatile that it just like, you know, it stresses you out so much. So at the end of the day, you don't, you very rarely get an opportunity when there's data. So if the data is as expected, then you're probably going to get a spike up, spike down. It's going to be quite volatile because nobody's going to know what to do. If it's better than expected, you expect a massive spike to the upside. If it's worse than expected, expect a massive spike to the downside. So um, yeah, for me, I'll probably just go sit back, wait for tomorrow before jumping back in this. But if you do have time, lower time frames. These are the levels to pay attention to. I don't think we'll break above the high of uh, uh, yesterday, unless there is some noise in the market that makes that happen. But I somehow doubt that at the moment. I think we're in for another leg down before we start consolidating again. Anyway, I hope that helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.